A new survey on protecting our most valuable asset, our brains, may surprise you a bit. Joining us live from New York City with more is Angela Geiger from the Alzheimer's Association and Lauren Gelman from Reader's Digest. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. All right, so let's get right to it. This is an important month uh, to talk about here because it's Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month here in June. So let's talk about some of the things maybe people aren't as familiar with. First, uh, cognitive decline. What is that and what, how is that different from, say, Alzheimer's or other types of issues that we're dealing with? So cognitive decline is really about more normal aging. Uh, it's subtle differences in your quickness or your ability to remember things, whereas Alzheimer's disease is actually a progressive and ultimately fatal disease, and it's the most common um, form of dementia. All right, so you hear about different types of ways to keep the brain pliable, even as we age. You guys are talking about some different kinds of tips or exercises. Uh, what can people do to help us stay brain healthy? So the Alzheimer's Association developed 10 ways to love your brain, really tips, uh, evidence-based tips and lifestyle changes you can make to reduce your risk of cognitive decline. You can find all 10 at alz.org, but a few to get you started are, first, break a sweat, regular cardiovascular activity, run, hike, bike, whatever you love to do. Uh, catching up on your sleep, making sure you're getting enough sleep makes a big difference in that. And also butting out or quitting smoking. Uh, it's not as easy to do, but can make immediate changes. And one of the really interesting things the Reader Digest poll found was that people's understanding of these really changed. Yeah, so Reader Digest partnered with the Alzheimer's Association to survey about 1,600 of our readers last month, and we found there are a lot of misconceptions around some of these habits. So, for example, 60% of the people we surveyed thought that playing the right game or the right app or doing the right puzzle could reduce the risk of cognitive decline, but that's actually not the case. It's really more about challenging yourself in lots of different ways. So, taking classes, learning new skills, playing different types of puzzles, not just sticking with that same crossword. And eating is another area where people had some misconceptions. People thought, 69% of people thought the right food, one right food could make a difference. But really the evidence is around an overall pattern like a Mediterranean style diet. You know, really too, I see the connection between what you do, not only mentally, but physically, how it's all interconnected and we really need to keep that in mind. That's absolutely true. You know, what's good for your heart is good for your brain. And one of the interesting things also about this survey is, when asked what body parts were important only for your health, only about 33% of people said your brain, whereas your brain's your command center. If it's not working, nothing else is. All right, well, uh, plenty of information online as to how people can help to raise awareness uh, on the uh, Alzheimer's Association site and also Reader's Digest. Thank you to both of you for, for bringing more information to folks out there to keep themselves healthy in their minds and in their bodies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.